Hello, Jay the Shark here for Five Star Marine. In today's video, I'm gonna tell Sean and you, that's right, you, all about my trip to the awesome Coconut Island, which is just there. Right, stay tuned, here it comes. Hi there guys, Sean here from Five Star Marine with Mr. J. Can I apologize right now? I'm not wearing my blue shirt and they are for sale. And if you come to our office, you can buy them. Oh, well, oh, and that and also Oh, the, I, I, well, I've got the hat on. Yeah, are they yeah, on yeah. mine yet or not? Uh, there's, a, there's a link in the description. You can are you uh, sure? buy the shirt off my back. That's and right. It, 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 we'll, we'll wash it first. Yeah, 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 like yeah, the one yeah, I wore yeah. yesterday, which you'll see in a minute because I'm here to tell you all about my trip yesterday to Coconut Island. Now, hasn't, it, hasn't it changed what? names? Is it Coconut Island well, still? Not the, the island. So still. many people have been asking me, and they say the last video we did, we talked about the village. They said, what village? There's no village on Coconut Island. Stop. There is a village on Coconut Island. Now, Coconut Island is called Coconut Island or Coma Prow if you're Thai, which means coconut. Did you know that? Uh, yeah, I did actually. Okay, anyway, but the village Coconut Island, which was the resort that I did the video on, has changed its name. It's now been, it's, it's now Barcelo. Really? It's a, it's a hotel group chain type thing. So what, they, they, they just put a new sign up or they repainted it? Well, they in detail, well, Sean. They, they so, rebuilt it well, all. Well, Sean, let me talk you through my three hour trip there yesterday. Can I just point out, it was a little bit rainy. There was lots of drips of sunshine coming from the sky yesterday. Well, we were, were thinking that we would wait for good weather, but because we've had so many questions about it... Have we? Yes. Okay. No matter what, Jay had to go. That's right, and I went, and here's me on the way. Going that way. Look. Coconut Island. It's over there. We're on our way. Woo woo. Cloudy today. Look. Rain over there. Yucky. Luckily, doesn't look like there's any rain where I'm going. Fingers crossed though. <laughs> it went in the middle of a monsoon. It was, it was quite bad weather, but there were gaps in the weather and I did manage to get the drone up a couple of times. But anyway, um, let me tell you about you it. You got so, the drone up? I did it get the drone it up. It didn't blow away? Um, it did blow away a couple of times and then my phone switched off and then I couldn't find the drone for a little while, which I did get a little bit worried about, but it came back. Anyway, let me tell you about trip. So to get to Coconut Island, right, I went to Lam Him, which is a very cool place. It's yes. got great seafood restaurants. And that's where if you're living on Phuket or if you're staying on Phuket, you can get the little long tail over to the floating seafood restaurants. Correct. It's called Lam Him. Anyway, we went there and then got on the boat, Sean. Nice little boat it was. Chuck took not that boat that I sent you in the picture of, a different <laughs> boat. I sent Sean a lovely picture of a boat, but it wasn't that one. Anyway, we went chuck, 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 we went over. It's only 750 meters away from Phuket. Yes. Okay? It's my good sales pitch, this, isn't it? Yeah. You like it? Anyway, we got there. Now, for those who don't know, 17 years ago when I came to Phuket, I started work at the Village Coconut Island, which is no longer the Village Coconut Island. It's now called Barcelo. Yes. Guess Great. where they're from? Barcelona. Well, they're a Spanish company, that's there right. He's done well, he's done well. No, they've done it all up. It's really nice, actually. So, you get so, there, so, go uh, on. Let's, let's, let's overview back, 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 back. Because every yep. time someone watches uh, our Coconut Island video, they yes. think that Coconut Island is a day trip destination. No! I, I would say to you that Whoa. really, really as a day trip, there's not a lot to do there. Well, interestingly enough, right, there is now. Wow. Okay, first of all, let's talk about just kind of talk about the resort first, okay. the upgrade. So the upgrade. How many resorts on there? First? There's two big resorts. Okay. Okay, you've got now Barcelo. I think it's Barcelo Coconut Island is what it's called. Yes. And then you've got Island Escape by Burasari. They're the two that we've done videos on before, but I actually only went to Barcelo yesterday and I walked into the local village to the school. And in fact, I went to the school. Oh, yes, yes, I, yes, I've yes, mucked yes, it all up, but we'll get to that bit in a minute, okay. okay? So anyway, the upgrades that they've done. There's now a beach club. Oh, really cool. Open to the public? It's open to the public, have yes. Have you some money to get in? Uh, no, I don't think so. You can just go there and have some drinky poos and some, and some cocktails. Have like a nice menu? It had a lovely menu. Thank uh, you very much. So lunch, cocktails. Y yes, you're asking lots of questions I don't really know the answer to. <laughs> Thanks very much for that one. Anyway, it is very cool. Um, a few of the sunbeds were covered up yesterday. Surprise, surprise, because <laughs> it was a little bit wet. But that's really cool. It's really Did you nice. Take a mask and snorkel. <laughs> I took a whole bloody dry suit, to be fair, mate. Um, but then I went into one of the new two beds, or not, it's the old two bed sea view, which they've renovated. Do you want to see my walkthrough? Yeah, sure. I did a whole walkthrough. Oh, Here it is. Did you go to the toilet? Uh, yes! <laughs> yes! We'll do that bit in a minute. Here's the walkthrough first. Hmm, it's quite a comfy bed, you know. Hmm, room for someone else. Yeah, not that I have anybody else. <laughs> anyway, if I did have somebody else and we woke up in the morning together, then we can check out this view. Look! Yes, now before I open this up, it is a bit rainy out there and a bit stormy. It is low season, but look! Look at that! 
little infinity edge pool. And then you see your view out to Pang Na Bay. That's Pang Na Bay out there. I think I've already told you that. But just imagine if that was beautiful. I'm sure that editor, we can put a picture of what it's like when it's beautiful. Mm. It's nice. Not a bad view to wake up to, even on a rainy day. It's nice. Good job. I like this place. Okay, what do you think? Nice? Um, sure, I'll watch the footage later. Okay, I'll let you know. <laughs> And here's my little thing. Just see the two elephants. Oh, you haven't seen the two elephants. They did these really nice things with two elephant towels, right? There was a female uh, elephant and a male elephant. How, how, do you, and, how did you know that? Well, because one had a flower in its ear. So I'm assuming that's a female. Oh, I thought you were checking other pictures. No, the other one had a massive Chang Noi. Anyway, that's a Thai joke for you. Um, but I did make a little, do you want to see my little thing? I did yeah, a yeah. puppet show with the elephants. Here's my puppet show. Hello, sweetheart. What are you doing later? Oh, I don't know. What should we do later? Well, I've got an idea. Are you up for it? Oh, I don't know what you mean. Come on, love. You know what I mean. We rented this two-bedroom villa just for ourselves. We've got lots of room. Oh, no. What did you have in mind? Mmm. Maybe we can go and use that big bath. Oh, OK. Will we both get in it? Mmm, sure. I reckon. OK. Sounds like we're going to have some fun in the bath. Woo-woo. Oh, yeah. Woo-woo. Mmm. And you asked me about the toilets. Now, Sean, what makes a five-star hotel? It's gonna have a, a toilet in the bathroom. Not a toilet in the bathroom. No, no, a, a phone in the bathroom. Should we do that bit again? Yeah. No, no, no. No, okay, good. Yeah. It has to have, a, this is real thing, for a five-star hotel to be a five-star hotel, it has to have a telephone in the bathroom. Guess what? No telephone. No telephone, but. Four-star then. But, it was an amazingly comfy toilet. Yeah. Here, I'll show you. Bang. Here, you know what I've just seen? Look at this toilet seat. It's like got a sheet of perspex over it. Very nice, isn't it? I like a good toilet. Let's check it out. I'm not gonna go, don't worry, but let's go check out the... Oh, that's good. That's a comfy toilet. Oh, I could spend a lot of time here. Hmm. Okay, that's enough of Jay on the toilet. Well, there you I, go. I have one of those new fandangle toilets that once you've you? gone to the toilet, it flushes itself. Oh, you've moved house, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. We shouldn't get into have, What, it flushes itself? Yes, you don't even need to flush it. It's self-flushing. The moment I bring my butt off it, it goes... Shoo. It doesn't, you've got to be quick, or does it fire up or, or not? It, there's another button I can push in the water. Can no way! <laughs> you get a, you, <laughs> in the Nemo <laughs> Yes. Holy moly, Sean's got a posh toilet. It, I had to, you know, watch a YouTube video on how to use, use the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Right, so after, we, well, the kids, there's a new kids club there. Oh, Going back nice. to what we're talking about. Yes. Really nice kids, very interactive. Very, uh, Ted, what's up, Ted? There you go, he showed me around the kids club, which okay. is nice. Uh, mountain bikes there, all the, all the facilities, beautiful spa. Great beach front, loads of restaurants. They've got uh, pizza, wood fire pizza place. Oh, wow. Very good. And there's loads of other renovations they're doing. But it's really, really cool. Make sure you're going to get out. Then, after, a, do you know what? Three hours I shot all there. And now what, we're going to use about five minutes of that footage, yes. aren't we? Yes, I thought so. Anyway, I went to the local village, which you know very well. Yes. So there is a local village on Coconut Island, which many people don't go to because there's not much to do there. However, there is now. Oh, there are restaurants opened up. Oh, really? There's one called, get, get here, right? Uh, I, it's I, a seafood I, restaurant on Coconut Island. Guess what they called it? Uh, tell me. Seafood Coconut Island. <laughs> hey, that's thinking. That's great branding. Um, but there's also ATVs there as well. You can go, oh, really? ATVs. You can go around the Yeah, and these are all ATVs. off. And not, here's not footage of resort. Jay doing ATVs. No, I didn't <laughs> go. Didn't go on the ATVs. I didn't do it. I should have done. I'd like to, but I didn't do the ATVs. Oh, there's also a reggae bear there, of course. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everywhere. <laughs> Wow, I've not been here for some time. Look, there's a whole new coconut seafood restaurant. And not just that, looks very cool. Obviously, reggae bar, has to be. Look, there's ATVs now and everything. Holy moly, things have changed. Very cool. Is there a 7-Eleven over there? There's no 7-Eleven, no. Oh, I thought they would have gone over there by now. No, but there's also another resort called um, Islands Escape by Bura, sorry, but I think, well, I'll go to that one another time, but that's on the other side of the island. So let's give a, a general yes. overview. Oh, sorry, before we do that, we went to the local school. Remember that school yes. that you supported during COVID? Correct. I went there and had a little rest. I didn't go in it this time, because I felt it was a bit weird to walk yeah, into yeah, a yeah. school. Busy little highway, this. 
So there, in front of me, is the school that in our last Coconut Island video, we went in and looked around because during COVID times, we came over to this school and helped them out with some water and some school supplies and all sorts of other stuff. It's a long time ago. Look, now they've got satellite dishes. I wonder who they're talking to. Mm. But yeah, there it is. A little school, I better not go in there. Just in case. Some weirdo walking around a school. But anyway, no very, very cool. order you have, yeah. That's right, but I loved it and well done. They've done a good job over there at Barcelo. Okay, so yes. Coconut Island, uh, as you said, 750 meters from Phuket. Yes. Um, I will say my opinion, it's not a real day trip island because there's no snorkeling. No. And so if you do go to Barcelo for the day, maybe you're gonna go sit at the beach club, but the beach is not when the, look, listen, when the tide goes out, because it's a silty bottom, because it's in, yes. it faces Pangar Bay, the views are stunning by the way, but it's a silty bottom, it's not the most beautiful, but I quite like it because I grew up on an estuary. Yes. So I quite like that. But there are lots of water sports you can do over there. Yeah. and Paddle I, boarding, I, kayaking, sailing and stuff. I really do think for, for, a, for a, a day trip, you know, something like Rang or Kai or something would be a better option. The beaches are nicer. Yes. Um, so, because we do, when people watch this video previously, they have contacted us and said, hey, can you take us to a day trip to Coconut Island? And generally my answer is, not a lot to do. Maybe we could do it as a stop on the way back, but not really something to go and spend the day at. No, and also the problem is, is there's probably lots of Coconut Islands and they're getting confused when yeah. they search Coconut Island. Correct. It's a very cool place though. Um, so, uh, Barcelo is one. Yes. Then we have Island Escape on there now. By Burasari, yes. Now they have new restaurants on there. Yes. They have ATV. Yes. They've got a new beach club on there. Yes. Uh, all it's within. I, I can't remember the name. It's called La. La Why do they make such names so difficult? Yeah. I, it's L U K A. Luca? Or something like that. I don't know. All within 750 meters of Phuket. Yes. And one and extra what? thing. Go on. We actually operate tours directly from the hotel. Wow. Well, I was going to say. Island. Well done, Sean. Yeah, if you're staying there, we can come pick you up at either resort. To yes. be fair. Um, so the tours that depart from there that would be good to do things like PP, James Bond, Krabi, Russia, Coral, Kai. We can even do Similan picking up from there. I have a booking next month. Really? Uh, no, next year for Similan picking up from the Coconut Island Pier. Ah, yeah, nice. Yeah. So uh, both hotels have their own private piers. So there's yes. not just one central pier and then you go off. Island Escape's got its pier. Coconut Island's got its pier. And there's a back pier. And we all love a backside pier, yes. don't we? And uh, in low tide, the back pier is what you use for That's right. going to Barcelo. But for our Island Escape, the pier is available in all tides. Oh, well done, your pier. Oh, and also this year. Yes. That would, this, this previous year. Anyway, sometime <laughs> in, the, in the recent past. Yes. We filmed a movie at uh, Island Escape. Did we? You were on that movie with me. I wasn't. Really? I don't think so. Oh, you weren't on that day. Remember the, the movie that you shot where you had to hide in the uh, boat uh, under the gasoline cover? Yes. Yeah, we did one day of shooting before that and we shot it on the Island Escape Pier. I never so get to the nice go. places, I just get to hide under gasoline smelling tarpaulins. Yes, uh, and both hotels are very, very nice hotels. I would say that the warning to you is, is that if you're someone that likes nightlife, Getting back onto Coconut Island at night is not the easiest thing to do in the world. No, um, and if it's stormy like it was yesterday. Mm. Yes, because um, we have had people who have turned up to our pier at like 10 o'clock at night as we're closing up and say, hey, we want to get to I uh, Island Escape or we want to get to Barcelo and all the transfers from the hotels are closed because normally they don't operate at night time. So all they can do is go to Lempin Pier and hope that one of the long tail drivers wakes up and that he will take them across. So I think that is the downside that you need to be very aware of. If, it, if you're someone that wants to go to Patong until two o'clock in the morning, getting back to your hotel becomes problematic. But if you're at the Barcelo Coconut Island, it's a really nice resort just to chip to completely chilled out. Yeah, and I, really, I, and the view, honestly, the views are stunning from there. When I've stayed there before, they, they have bands there at night time. Yeah, the, the bar well, is right the, around the pool. The beach cool. club has bands, I think it's, or as a DJ on Wednesdays and Sunday, and then the pool, um, bar that has live music as well. Yeah. On certain days, not sure when. So it's a good kind of resort feeling, kind of somewhere to stay and spend a relaxing time. Yes. Uh, without really wanting to go and explore too much. You that's know? right. But if you're someone that's wanting to do tours every day, you do really need to be aware that unless you're doing island tours, you're going to have to take a boat to a pier, a, then a bus to the next tour location. Yes. Whereas if you want to do island tours, we can pick you up directly from your hotel's pier. There he is. That's cool, it. man. 
So, uh, the biggest thing is just the name change. The biggest thing? No, and the beach club, and the renovations, and the new conference room they're building. Oh, they have a conference room. Yeah, they're, they're, they're wow. renovating that. And there's another restaurant. They've got a lot of restaurants. A lot of It was very busy, though. Did you nice. get a VIP tour? Oh, they've all... No, I didn't. They've also got water slides as well. I didn't go on them, but I filmed a few um, nice people going down them. In the rain. Well, no, well, yeah, in between the rains. Yeah, and we do apologise. The footage is going to be quite wet and rainy, but we wanted to get this video out to you because we've had so many questions about it. Some people are like, oh, we don't know it's the village or it's Barcelo and what happened. Really, what happened is just a change of name. Yeah, and it's very cool, and I love it there. And they were really nice. Walter helped me out, showed me the room, and then he said, do I need any sale? Do you want lunch there? Do you want... They were really kind to me. I enjoyed it. It was nice. Any, like, funny last-minute footage that we can close out with? Um, I saw some dead puffer fish. We don't want to close with it. It's a dead fish. No, no dead fish. No, oh, no okay. goats or... No, there was no goats. I didn't see any goats. Really? Well, it's, yeah, that village, I'm, I'm, I think they'd eat everything that's not there, to be fair. <laughs> but no, I really like it. I, it's a very, very cool place. And it was nice to go back there. And it brought back a lot of memories. Because when I first, like I said, I landed in Phuket 2007. And that's where I work. So it's very cool. All right, guys, if you have any questions about Coconut Island, staying on Coconut Island, or doing tours from Coconut Island, you can drop a comment below. And can I apologize once again? I'm not wearing our merchandise blue shirt because as you'll see from the footage yesterday, I might have got a little bit but, wet. But uh, they are available for sale as of right now on our website at Five Star Marine phuket.com forward slash merchandise as well as the hats but we have limited uh, uh availability like limited, Limpi supply. limited supplies i believe yeah, is the expression limited supply we're very new to this merchandising thing we're horrible at it and can i just say that all the profits from the merchandise does go to our foundation so we're not making any money out of this well he's not anyway all right leaving it to jay okay i've pretty much done it thanks for watching and like so said, like who said like sean said if you want to oh flipping heck that's a shame, isn't it? I really did well there. And he's looking at me now, thinking I messed that last bit up. Anyway, like and subscribe. Thanks. Peace.